Hey guys, just before the video kicks off, I just want to say apologies for the delay in the video. We did get the car ready and the car is completely done and I can't wait to show you guys this vehicle because it truly does look amazing. I do apologize, some of the video is a little bit choppy. Um, unfortunately, we had some bad news. Unfortunately, a family member passed and it was a little bit difficult with the family. And um, yeah, I, I won't go to any further than that, but um, show you the vehicle in its finished article. It really is amazing. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that basically. I'm out here with a dog and I've got an Arabic Frisbee as well. Um, didn't realize how far these things go. Oh, okay. sure. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me for our final episode of our Defender TD590 build. Now this car has come a long way and you guys have joined me for that journey. And today we're gonna to be finishing up all the kind of, well, the finishing bits, obviously. And um, basically get this car ready for the road and uh, you guys are gonna see how far we've come and basically see some nice cinematic shots of this car. That's my vision anyway for this episode. Okay guys, so this morning, the first thing we'll be focusing on is remapping the ECU. Now, uh, you guys saw me rebuild this engine and it was a bit of a headache to rebuild because I was rebuilding somebody else's strip down. It was a bit of a nightmare, but we're very happy and very satisfied with its kind of health. I've driven it for approximately 30, 45 miles, very happy with its condition. It doesn't leak, it's running really, really smooth. It sounds very healthy. Um, and now we want to give it some power. Now I personally use, um, in, in my workshop here, Empire Tuning. Now Gareth is with me today from Empire Tuning. He's with us today and he's going to show us how to remap an early TD5 and he's very kindly agreed to hook us up with this one. And basically we're going to show you guys what is involved with remap remapping and the performance you get out of it. Uh, I think this is our customer D4. No, it's Michael! Whoa, Wizards and Books! <laughs> this is Michael, yeah, film this. So some of you guys know I used to work uh, at this very main dealers and um, Michael is one of our good friends in the parts department and he's a, he's a good guy, we like him. We might, wait, where's the horn? Where's the horn? Do we have time to get it up? We have time to get it up. We have time to get it up. <laughs> is this it? Good morning, Michael. <laughs> Good morning, sir. <laughs> you have a great day. <laughs> See you, buddy. <laughs> well, that was just absolutely excellent. It couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> anyway, I was saying earlier that Gareth is here and he's going to be remapping our ECU. And I believe he is, uh, he's borrowing a corner of our workshop to do all his magician work. So let's go over here. We'll go meet Gareth. And um, we'll see what he's up to. Gareth, how are we doing? Good. Very good. So guys, this is Gareth, and Gareth uh, runs Empire Tuning. You are a Land Rover specialist, but you also do remap other vehicles as well. Yes, we do. do all yeah. kind of brands and other, other stuff. But yeah. today, we're gonna to be doing a stage one on our Defender 90 build. Yes. And it's an old style ECU, which means that we can't just plug it in, right? No, hence why we've come down to, to do the upgrade. Um, for, for you to, to this watch is just some, what we do. This is just some space age stuff that I'm just <laughs> not aware of what this looks like. You're going to give us a stage one on our rebuilt engine. Do we, do we have anything to, anything to worry about in terms of the engine's health if we're just going to be telling it to get loads of performance? Are we no. going to be damaging the engine? No. Kind of just in case anyone's got any queries or, you know, will, is it going to blow it up? No. So, as yours is a fresh engine, we could go more. Mm -hmm. um, I've remapped engines that have done 300,000 miles um, and they've been fine. Providing they're serviced regularly uh, and looked after yeah. and not abused, then yeah, the, the TD5 is a fantastic I, engine. I always say to people, it's not an on-off switch. You're in control of the pedal at the yes. same time. Yes. If you're gonna if you're gonna blow it up, you would have blown it up prior to remap. Exactly. Because yeah. you're you, if you're bouncing off of the the top end rev range, then you're trying to damage it anyway. Yeah. You just get a lot more low down torque, right? And a lot yeah, more peak so, performance out so, of it. One of the, the things that I do when I map it is I make it very linear, so the pedal feels very progressive. What does linear mean? So can, you, can you show us a visualization of linear, or does it just mean it's kind of... I know, instead I know, of it going like, like that and up, it yep. goes like that. 
I know that fuel kind of, so vehicles to get through emissions, the rest of it, they will kind of lean off a map at a certain rev range to say that, oh, this vehicle hits 37 milligrams or whatever in its, in its fueling um, to suit, basically. Yep. And you're going to basically yeah. level it out so it feels nice and progressive, right? Yes. So you, you increase the fuel in higher up the RPM as well as lower down. You then modify the, the boost control. Um, and that all, all aids with a nice clean burn. So, you, you know, not every customer likes to have thick black smoke out the back. Of course. That's so, where we I get mean, we, power, can, right? we can do that. That's not an issue at all. <laughs> um, if, if that's what you want, we can do that. And we have done that. Um, Rolling coal. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, with popcorn. Um, so what's popcorn? I know. So, I'm just so, doing it for you guys. <laughs> popcorn so, is a... So basically popcorn's... Um, make the noise. The, yeah, so it, 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 it makes a noise. It goes... Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> And it's to do with um, fueling strategy. So this, the standard ECUs have a strategy which is like a limiter. Um, you manipulate some of the settings with that to give you the popcorn noise. It's a bit of a party the, trick, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. And also you can, once, once the vehicles are remapped, you accelerate. They, they, because Into they're the so limit. linear, you can use the limiter as a gear yeah. change. And it just gives you that extra That's little sounds bit. Sick, bah, bah. Yeah. You know those kind of Mercedes that kind of, you hear them down the road, DSG boxes are like, wah, bah, it kind of, yeah. mini, it, it, it's just great. <laughs> yeah, it, we're not going to do popcorn yeah, on this one though, um, right? No, we're not going to do popcorn on this. Because uh, it's still got standard uh, silences and stuff like that. Yes. This one is we, not about to get raw the, performance. This yeah. one's just about getting that low down torque, making it very drivable and making it just kind of feel really good to drive. Yeah, it, you know, it's, it's got big, big wheels, big tyres. Um, At the minute, it feels like a 300 TDI. It's, it's so gutless. Nothing wrong gutless. with 300 TDI. I, no, 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 I always say they're like an old Swiss <laughs> clock, but uh, 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 they'll get you where they're going, but we want to get to our destination yeah. on the same day. Yeah, so we're not, we're not going to go too leery with it. We're not putting the popcorn on it because you still, to get the best from the popcorn, you need exhaust modifications. You need breathing modifications, yeah. air modifications, stuff and, like that. And this is a nice standard, very sweet. Yes. I, I'd like to say I'm molested. I have molested. Yeah. <laughs> But you in terms of performance-wise, um, we're still stuck. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess we are. First step: remove the ECU. Yes. that you do custom tailor them to the vehicle itself. Absolutely, it's not just yeah. like stage one, stage two, stage three. It's like, what do you use it for? Big wheels, has it got a decat? Has it got a bigger or higher airflow? So it's truly a custom map for your specific vehicle. Like this one has got big wheels and tires. And so I don't know what that map translates to in terms of torque curve or whatever, but Gareth is gonna tailor it to this specific car. If you guys are too far away, not confident, or you know, don't have the tools or whatever, you can take your ECU out, you can post it to Gareth. Gareth will have it back to you next working day and then you can have raw power.
Okay guys, so we're out on road test. Um, we're gonna go for a, a small spin down here. Okay, if you go down there and just go left and go past the gate. I can already feel it's got that low down power and this has got that, um, the new clutch kit. Oh, it's just already so much smoother. you join me at my workshop and today we're going to be handing over our Defender TD590 build. Now you guys have watched me build this for about 15 episodes, maybe this is 16, 15, who knows. Lift the shutter Leon. Hey Rooks. He didn't care. <laughs> so guys, the car's been gone for about a week now and he went to Raza. He's a really, really cool guy and I know the car's gone to a brilliant home. Uh, they had a really cool firework display when the car got back. I'll show you a bit of footage of that. Really, really cool. But um, we really missed the car. It was one of those builds, it was really special to me. And we bought it as an absolute wreck, as you guys know. The chassis was completely rotten. The engine was in the boot. There were bits missing. We did some bits wrong. We had to rectify some bits. We tried some new stuff like the bulkhead. It was a really awesome journey and I loved how the car turned out. Um, to me, the design of it was absolutely almost spot on. It looked perfect for me. The ratio, the look, the size, the tires, everything. Super cool build and I'm really happy with how it turned out. It was really sad to see it go actually, but um, uh, one of the guys who works with me, Tom, he's got a really cool little drone and we've got some really cool cinematic footage of it that I want to show you guys now. Um, we'll also talk about, just quickly, this week we've got a new build and I will discuss that in the next video. But for now, I just want to show you these cinematic shots and I'll catch you guys in the next video.